let's talk about saute pans. These pans offer the broad cooking surface of a skillet, but unlike skillets, they have taller L-shaped sides. Most saute pans come with a lid, which you're gonna need for containing those heaps of greens. We tested seven saute pans. They're all made of stainless steel, which is sturdy, non-reactive to acidic foods, and great for developing fond. Stainless steel can withstand high temperatures. All of these pans are oven safe to at least 500 degrees. They hold between three and three and a half quarts, and they're similar in surface area to a 12 inch skillet. These pans have another important thing in common. They're all fully clad. Now, fully clad pans are made from a special material where layers of more than one metal are bonded together before the pan is formed. In this case, aluminum sandwiched between stainless steel. Every metal behaves differently on the heat. So by putting them together in layers, you get the best of each. Aluminum quickly conducts heat while stainless steel retains the heat. And that adds up to nice, even heat and uniform browning across the pan surface. All of these pans are also induction compatible. In each pan, we cooked Swedish meatballs, made our recipe for Mexican rice, and we sauteed heaping piles of spinach. We recruited extra testers to try the pans and got their feedback. We washed the pans by hand after each test and then ran dishwasher safe models through the machine. We also abused them to test their structural integrity. We heated them to 500 degrees and then we plunged them into ice water to check for warping. And we whacked them three times on a concrete block to see if they dent. We wanna make sure these pans are tough enough for a lifetime in your kitchen. Now, along the way, we identified the key features that mean the difference between a good saute pan and a great saute pan. First, you want a broad cooking surface. Our favorite pans had wide surfaces that measured at least nine and a half inches. And this size meant we could cook more food at once. Meatballs weren't crowded together and there was room for us to reach in with tongs and rotate them. Greens cooked quicker because they could be spread in a thinner layer. You wanna look for moderately high sides. The sides of our pans range from two to nearly three inches tall. And you wouldn't think that makes a huge difference, but it really does. When sides are just around two and a half inches, they were high enough to keep food from spilling out, but easy to reach in. If they were too low, food went overboard. Two high sides felt like saucepans, not saute pans. Look for moderate weight. When you're transferring food to a plate or moving a full saute pan to the oven, that pan had better be comfortable and feel safe to lift. Heavy pans were a chore, but our lightest pan at less than three pounds actually felt kind of dinky. And more importantly, it got two nickel sized dents from our abuse testing. Handles are important. The best were long, straight, and comfortable. Pans with short, stubby handles put us too close to the heat. Handles that curved drastically up and away just made the pans feel unbalanced and heavier. Helper handles actually mattered. This little guy opposite the main handle is the helper, and it's there to provide support when the pan, when it's full of food, is just too heavy to lift with one hand. We don't usually find helper handles necessary on a skillet, but we usually cook more food in a saute pan, and the ingredients often include liquids, so the contents can be much heavier and much more awkward to carry. We prefer stainless steel lids. Most pans came with stainless steel lids, but one had a glass lid, and it was very heavy and only oven safe to 420 degrees and it steamed up so we couldn't really see through it to monitor cooking. By contrast the stainless lids were sturdy but lightweight and they were high heat safe to at least 500 degrees. And finally let's talk about cleaning. Stainless steel pans cleaned up fine in the sink. We scrubbed with our old favorite barkeeper's friend to get any tough spots but most of the pans we tested are considered dishwasher safe. We generally recommend hand washing pans to help extend their lives, but it is convenient to toss the pan in the dishwasher sometimes. In the end, we liked many of the pans we tested, but we found a favorite in the made in stainless clad saute pan. This pan wowed our cooks right from the start. It browned food evenly on the stovetop. It made fluffy rice in the oven. Its broad cooking surface provided plenty of room. Its walls were just high enough that we didn't lose any food when we were stirring, but low enough that it was easy to reach in with tongs or flip food. And its handle was long, offset, and straight. And we really liked that little divot where we could rest our thumbs. It got one small dent during the abuse test, but this did not affect the pan's stability. And it's oven safe to 800 degrees. This pan is a keeper and it's our new favorite. For more details about this review and many others, check out americastestkitchen.com.